I'm your host, Hugh Riley. Welcome to our show. It's 5-Minute Financial. One topic, five minutes, with our investment and financial guru, John Klotz, is here. John, great to have you on the show. Great to be here, Hugh. Okay, so this is five minutes, right? We're only going to be with five people. We can show them the clock just to make sure that they know that we're not just messing around here. John, there's the clock. We're going to hit the button, and if people stay for the whole five minutes, they have a chance to get 100 bucks. Right? Absolutely. $100 gift certificate. Okay. Then I'm going to hit the clock. Yeah. You ready? Absolutely. Ready to go. Okay. We are go. And today's topic is uh, disability insurance, right, John? Absolutely. What the heck is disability insurance? You know, it's a great question. And uh, disability insurance or income protection, in the event you can't work due to an injury or sickness, they will pay your salary. You can receive several thousand dollars a month, all the way up to twenty thousand dollars a month in the event you're unable to perform the duties of your occupation due to an illness or injury. Okay, John, but okay, as a business owner or a professional, yep. I'm thinking, you know, I'm probably not gonna get injured on the job. Why would I need disability insurance? That's, a, that's another great question. You know, Hugh, you are what we call a working professional business owner. There's an incredible set of skill sets that goes into you being able to do what you're doing. One is your incredible good looks. Thank you, John. All right. The, the camera did pause there for a second. Well, it should have been on me. <laughs> should have been, exactly. Um, and your ability to operate this incredible station and be a businessman and do the accounting and the bookkeeping and the sales and uh, keep the staff like blue happy with the comprehensive pension plan that they have here. That's why she works here. That's why she works here. It's all about the benefits. But if, what if you can't do that? What if you come down with some debilitating disease and there's enough out there? We don't want to be depressing. We only have five minutes, but there's a lot of lousy things that can happen to people. Oh. Cancer, heart disease, stroke, um, all that sort of stuff. But I'm still maybe, John, yes. technically in my 30s, I still think I'm immortal, I'm invincible. Yeah. Really, what are the chances? That's an unbelievable question because the, tra the, the actual statistics, Hugh, is that one in three people will become disabled at some point before the age of 65 and they'll become disabled for more than 90 days and chances are if the disability lasts more than 90 days it'll last 2.8 years but but John yes we live in Canada a socialist paradise yes doesn't the government take care of this for us great question you are may you must be in show business all these great questions um, <laughs> no the government doesn't really take care of now I'll tell you what the government does do they offer this Canada Pension Plan Disability Benefit. And there's two problems. One, the maximum you can receive from it is up to about 1000 bucks a month. Now I ask you, would that represent a change in lifestyle for you, Hugh? It's, if you, <laughs> It would. I don't want to tell you which direction that Wait, change would be. I, maybe but. it goes up. That's what I'm worried about with you. Uh, well, okay. All right. Now, Blue over here, living the you know, high life, um, $1,000 would represent a serious drop of income. Absolutely. But it, there, there's more. Mm -hmm. The problem is the definition of disability uh -huh. by the government is referred to as severe and prolonged. Uh -huh. Severe means yeah. that um, you're unable to engage in any gainful occupation, okay. which is bad. That means you can do anything. And prolonged right. means it has to kill you within 12 months. You have to admit, really, it's fairly restrictive. And it's probably going to get more restrictive. Yes, so they're not. They're not adding to that. They're taking away from that every every time I see it. Okay, not a lot of time left, John. A lot of stuff to cover. Uh, what's more important, disability insurance or life insurance? Well, again, another great question. So, if you're dealing with someone who's young and single, yeah. and you say, you know, um, the concern is, what if they do become disabled yeah. or they die? So, if someone who's young and single doesn't have any dependents. What is going to, uh, what do they really need? I would suggest that disability insurance would be really important to that individual. Mm -hmm. Life insurance is a different product, obviously, if you have a family and you need to care for someone after you're not here, that's really important. But I would say if I was going to own one insurance product, it would be a disability product because that will be, that will pay your mortgage or your rent, put food on the table, gas in the car in the event you can't work. So I think disability is really the most, one of the most important insurance products out there. Okay, assuming that's the case, what's the cost? Okay, well there are many factors that go into the cost of a disability. We've only got 50 seconds. Okay, here we go, boy. Um, male, female. Women pay more for disability insurance than men. I don't know if you knew that. I didn't know that. Yeah, for life insurance, men pay more because we don't live as long, but women live longer 
and we'll pay more for disability insurance. Also, a majority of claims um, for disability insurance are psychologically related. Women, being the smarter sex, are more willing to seek out treatment and counseling, but as a result, will um, make claims for disability insurance. Men, however, end up with hostility in a McDonald's with a shotgun and screaming obscenities and not making as many disability claims. Women pay more. The other factor is age. Are we almost out of time? Oh, oh John, age. Oh, something's gonna happen. Occupation, oh, no. smoking status. What you do for a living? Oh, uh, John, that's it. Uh, we, uh, we're out of time. I got a whole bunch more questions here and uh, we're just not gonna get to it today. Uh, but people, I guess, if they need the more information, they can give you a call, and also they can get $100 uh, value of something. Absolutely. Go to our uh, website, um, www.5minutefinancial.ca. Um, Fill out the questionnaire. Submit it to us. If you're within the GTA, we'll uh, send you a $100 gift certificate okay. for filling out the questionnaire. All right. Well, that's a wrap. Great to do this, John. Looking forward to the next one. Hope everybody's enjoying it, getting their 100 bucks. It's going to be great. We'll see you next time.